Welcome to Close Up with the Hollywood Reporter Animation. We're doing this segment in virtual reality, and I'd like to introduce Mike Mitchell and Garth Jennings, Mark Osborne, <laughs> Travis Knight, Seth Rogen, yeah. Byron Howard, and John Musker. This is like the 3D house of stewardesses. For yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so since we have this virtual reality camera now at the table with us, this is an obvious first question. Have you thought about doing virtual reality yet, any of you, or tried it with any of your projects? I just try. I got some demos the other week that kind yeah. of blew me away a right. little bit. Because I, I think, and maybe you guys chime in, the tough thing for us is because since we're all trying to control where the audience exactly. is going, yeah. you're trying it's to like, counter it, that. It's kind of yeah. it jokes exactly. like yeah. the opposite of what yeah. filmmaking yeah. Is, yeah. is. Like all filmmaking is telling people what where to look, look at yeah. Yeah. and how much of it to be seeing yeah. at any given moment. So they don't want to give them freedom. As soon as right? you give them a choice, it, it kind of negates it. For yeah, my kids, my kids yeah. would definitely be looking the wrong way. I'd always yeah. be saying, no, no, no. You just missed You just missed the thing I worked really hard on. It is. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. And now everyone's looking over there. Forget it is yeah. a challenge for storytelling. Our, our production designer, Kendall Cronkite, that oh, worked on Trolls, great. works on at Oculus. So I got to go oh, yeah. there, and they put all this stuff on. It was stunning, it's like amazing, amazing stuff. But they have one uh, particular film of a little creature's birthday party, and you're sitting there, and the creature's Henry. sad because no one came to the birthday party. And I'm like, what am I? Chop the birthday. Look at me, look yeah. at me. Yeah. 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 But so I think I, for video games, it's yeah. probably like... It's great. Game video games. Games. I tried yeah. gaming, I did it for about 20 gaming. minutes, and yeah. I'm like, this is what I'm doing in the old age home. Like, yeah. I'm like ready <laughs> to just go yeah, into that up. forever, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't think for a narrative form, I, we, we did see a test, probably the same, similar thing, where they took one of the scenes from our movie, and they, we actually, uh, we have this sort of barge, and it's, it's kind of our, our homage to... Uh, Mad Max, is there's all these little pirates running around in this huge vessel, and it's like George Miller did. Oh, but, yeah, so they, so they put the, they did a virtual ride where we could kind of look around. It was really cool, but putting it in the body of a movie, it's hard to imagine. I feel like it's more of a video game. I've seen a or couple shorts. shorts. They'll I've figure seen shorts like, that are like amazing. Shorts, well, Glenn did do it kind of a little bit that way. You know, and, and I think, I feel like there's, there. I love the idea of experimentation in it and just like trying things and seeing, but I, yeah, I keep getting it asked. It's hard like, to have a firm, like if you're going to like sleep no more. Yeah, like, it's, it's, it's kind of like that though. Like because you can look anywhere at any given moment, it's like a theater experience. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. that story yeah. though because yeah. the audience looks like ghosts. Right. Exactly. Like no one really looks at you, no, right? But it makes it that there can't be like a clear narrative right. because you could just miss something. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Would it be impractical for stop motion for the two of you? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's I, 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 I oh, so hard. Hard. Yeah, it's really hard stuff that you were looking wow. at. It. Do everything yeah. all the way around the room. Yeah, there's yeah. so much um, work that goes into it. It's like, no, just look here. Don't yeah. look over. Well, I mean, I think that you know, for any emerging technology, there there are exciting things that come with that. You can find, okay, how can we exploit this for this medium and use it in a different way? I mean, ten years ago when we were making Coraline, we were looking for you know a new way to tell this kind of Wizard of Oz type story where you go from the kind of the black and white world to the Technicolor richness of Oz. And uh, 3D uh, stereoscopic photography in its infancy provided an, an avenue that we could use that technology to enhance the story. I think with virtual reality, it's a different kind of a thing. I think we haven't quite figured out how we can use it in narrative form because I think what everyone's echoing here around the table is that as filmmakers, you're painstakingly composing <laughs> images to direct the eye you're or to evoke a feeling. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and if, if someone can just look wherever they want, it's a different kind of experience. Yeah. And so I think we haven't found the medium that, that that can utilize this technology in the best way, I think it's out there, but I don't think it's film. I, I think it could be good for selling films yeah. and like immersing the audience yeah, in, people in, in a world yeah. that yeah, you were trying cool. to I, I like sell stood them on a on, mountain you know. on, in Norway. Yeah. I stood on a mountain and I could see, and it was the most incredible thing, and you could move around. And I'm yeah. like, so for education, it's for experiences. Yeah. But I noticed yeah. that it's usually for me when I have it on, I'm like creeped out. Like I'm always looking like, <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah, yeah, something's yeah. going to come. <laughs> yeah. So I maybe more I think one of my friends is going to hit me. <laughs> yeah, I think it speaks more to my friends than uh, to reality, uh, but I just... I looked down, I was like, where are my knees? I know, where, where my feet yeah, here? Yeah. Beautiful leaves, yeah. rustling. Garth, would you want to do a short with uh, your sing characters? Um, no. <laughs> uh, no, because uh, I'd love to do, like, I like the idea of a ride, like what we're talking yeah. about as an experience, yeah. right? I would love yeah. to do like a ride through some aspect of the movie that we've just made. I'd love or, to do that. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily feel comfortable telling more of a story. I'd like the idea of an experience, create an experience. Like you're in the kitchen and it's going bananas or something. And wherever you go, there's something wonderful going on. But I don't think I'd be very good at, 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 at telling a complete three-act structure, even if it is a short, with virtual reality. I'd literally run out of ideas and go bananas. Mm. I'd go mad. 
Or but I'd like to. I'd like to see it. I'd like to do it as a ride or something. That or would it's be perfect to like if someone's like a bunch of people are around a table and talking. That would be like an amazing. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine, yeah. 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 But imagine was, we were only going to see half the table. Yeah. 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 Even better. Yeah. Was it's crazy. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. You've all tried it already, correct? Yeah. I haven't. Yeah. Nope. Oh, you got to love it. You got to try no. it. <laughs> Make this yeah. the first thing. <laughs> 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 yeah. We're going to get the goggles next time. Really yeah. 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 so. Put on the goggles yeah. <laughs> For the rest of you, how long are you using them before you find any discomfort, or are you completely cool with it going for a while? I've only used them for like 20 minutes. That's kind of the max I've ever done. I don't know if yeah. you guys have done longer. Yeah. No, I haven't no, I'm, done longer either. Yeah. I haven't seen a thing that... Is would warrant that long term of thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm usually I, I'm not an early adopter, so when I put it on and you know it feels like the screen's right here, I was like, I'm gonna, I can't wait until it's about here. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. It's about here. <laughs> it'll it'll feel that's gonna be so yeah. cumbersome though. Yeah. 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 He'll yeah. figure yeah. it out. Just tape the TV yeah. to your face. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that was the early VR. Yeah. <laughs> does does, um, does CG lend itself to production for virtual reality? Well, in the sense that the environments are built in the round, yeah. it does but, it that way, but, but you're spending money on stuff that you potentially no one sees. Yeah, <laughs> so, so like, like we did, our, we, we did our best yeah. to sort of only build what we needed, exactly. and then at times we would go crazy because we knew we would have to go from one place to another. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, the idea of all of those sets that we have, that there's loads of bits missing. They shouldn't look like there's anything right, missing, right. but we have a I'm sure you find like, that. You just don't build a wall if yeah, you're not going to see classic it. classic Hollywood. Yeah. We have yeah. a sequence. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we have the sequence, Get Back Up Again, the song written by uh, the guys that wrote all the music for La La Land. Oh, and it's yeah. less than three minutes long. We have 27 environments yeah. wow. in that. And, and virtual reality, we would go, OK, let's yeah. make this a half kind yeah. of a one, one environment. environment. Yeah. Like, very small, dark. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> not you don't have to light it. Yeah, yeah. This is, yeah. yeah. This is, yeah. Like, <laughs> like the So yeah. last question. Um, at, now that you've finished these films, um, are there any sequels planned? Um, would you like to revisit your worlds and your characters? Little Prince Two will not happen. <laughs> 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 very, of course. Very, yeah. Let's talk after this. Yeah, yeah. right. Mike, what about you? Control? Big Prince. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, right. Big prince. Yeah, we could go on and on with this thing. I mean, just with the stuff uh, that we did with James Corden that got cut out of the film is a whole nother film oh, in itself. So yeah, this is a this is just a piece of a bigger world. Mm -hmm. Don't know if that's gonna happen though. Sing. Sing there could be, certainly. I but I've only just finished, so it's a bit like asking a <laughs> <It's> exhaustion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I can't yeah. just run across time, the yeah. finish line. Do you want to do that again? It's like, yeah. No, I'd like to lie down for just a bit. <laughs> but certainly because the characters are very much based on, you know, very relatable that, you know, people that I kind of know, especially the pig. She's based on my wife, who wasn't too pleased about being a. <laughs> <laughs> but she How is. many kids do you have? Well, I only have four, but but, oh, the, but totally in the film, no. well, because well, in the film the character has twenty-five, <laughs> right. so that's why <laughs> it's kind of exaggerated version yeah. of yeah. life. Yeah. 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 And because of because it's based on things that I kind of know and people I know, then it would be very easy to evolve with them. But right now, I'm just really happy to stop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah. Yeah. I know you're not a fan you of sequels. Like, you're trying to get me in trouble. You know my position know. on sequels. It's, uh, no, I, th I think that, that obviously you can tell a great story in a sequel. Uh, the way we tend to look at films, the way we do look at films, our philosophy is that we explore every story as if it's the most meaningful experience of our protagonist's life. And so if you take that point of view, then anything beyond that is is a diminishment. What is it, the second most important experience of a character's life? Or do you have to then ratchet up the volume and just start throwing things at, this, at the screen to just become, just to justify its existence? I think, you know, as, a, as an industry, the pendulum has gone one way pretty far. Uh, we're focusing a lot on franchises and brands and recognizable IP. Uh, and, and I think the, the thing that is starting to get lost to a degree is passion for telling new and original and unique stories, which is what we tended to go to the theater to see, to be transported to another world, to see aspects of our own lives reflected on the screen. Um, but it's not to say you can't tell a great story in a sequel. You can, and of course, the- Toy Story 2 and 3. Toy Story 2 yeah. and 3. Yeah. Yeah. And Amazing. Godfather 2, Empire yeah. Strikes Back, and we can go on and on. Yeah. But generally, unless you have a bigger, more expansive story to tell, I think we all can recognize generally what these things are, which is a cash grab. And My answer is yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's just, yes. I wanted to say here. yes just to make him uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I mean, looking at my... Is Sausage know, Party 2 coming? I, no, the, the truth is, like, looking at the movies that, as, you know, someone who goes to see movies and looking back at the movies I've made, the most original ones are the ones that not only 
have done the best, but the ones that are just received the best. And I kind of look back on and view them as the best and the things that I'm the most proud of that I've done. And I think a large part of why Sausage Party worked was because of how original it was mm -hmm. and because um, it, it was so different, you know? And so just by the nature of that, the idea of doing a sequel to it is, is is honestly incredibly unappealing, but the <laughs> idea of doing more, what what I, we hope yeah. more than anything is that we've opened a door for more adult-oriented animated mm. movies and for more filmmakers yeah. who think that animation is not conducive to the genre that they excel in. We hope they now look at what we did and say, oh wait, no, it can be conducive to my genre. I make horror movies. I can make an yeah, animated absolutely. horror movie. I make I adult sci-fi movies. I can make that now. Um, and so I do hope that this spawns more movies in its wake. I just don't think they'll be called Sausage Party. <laughs> and I honestly don't even know if I'll be the one making all of them. I hope people who are more talented than myself, who have, you know, stronger, uh, you know, and more genres, more diverse tastes than myself, start to really view animation as a medium and not a genre. And that's what we really... Yeah. Yes. There you go. Yeah. 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 Well said, dude. Yeah. My and I, I think that's a good wrap-up point. So oh, thank beautiful. you for joining us What's on Hollywood Reporter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big world. You never know. <laughs> <laughs>